to you, Kelly, from your tr yours truly, Alfred <laughs> and Kayla. Mum, you too. Give us a kiss. Chips and bugs. Chips and bugs. Chips and bugs. Come on, what is it? Oh, no, it's so down. What is it? Oh, that made me cry. <laughs> 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 oh, it's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks, guys. You can't have that up here. <laughs> Told you, you thought outside the box. Oh, good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Group hug. Throw it up here. Thanks, Kayla. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks, Kayla. 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 Why are you crying over a butterfly, Kelly? Well, it goes like this. The Ulysses butterfly, a blue-winged creature I have been obsessed with for 12 years. A symbol of a dream. A dream I have been dreaming since I was 18, actually. A dream which has kept my flame flickering in the absence of light when those pessimistic thoughts yell at me, encouraging self-doubt and overthinking, telling me I can't do it. You can't do it, Kelly. You know how it is. The lack of self-confidence we can all suffer from at some stage in our lives. Some more than others. <sighs> the places we all could be without those fears, self-doubt and inner negative thoughts that cage our motivation. Not just in a physical sense, like living in a stately mansion somewhere, but living in peace within ourselves. Reaching goals we thought we could never achieve can result in us living in the most beautiful mansion of all, our own happiness. I know that sounds mawkish, but it's true. It is in those self-loathing moments when my little flame is dull or has been blown out, a single flash of the electric blue singed with black and my little candle is relit. And I am once again feeling inspired. Because the sight of the Ulysses butterfly poses as a reminder to me that a dream can become a reality. It is my symbol of hope and to believe in myself. And it is thanks to my friend Megan, who I have been friends with for 21 years now, that we are embarking on a wild adventure, on a search for the metallic blue wings, to see them fluttering in the wild to watch them flutter up to the sky. I am off to find the king of all the butterflies, Papilio Ulysses. She was just about to solve her puzzle, Don, so good timing. You can come and help. There's a puzzle here, Megan's made. Alright, so what's this? Where are you going as a surprise? <gasps> <laughs> she solved it, Megan. Already. Megan wants I, I mean, yeah, right, hang on. This is what I reckon now. What's this? It's where Megan's going to be taking her, is it, Megan? Yeah? Bucket list. Really? Megan and Kelly get on a plane. What does the writing say? Get on a plane, Megan and Kelly, Megan and Kelly, get on a plane, all the way to somewhere where tropical, like Queensland. For her bucket list. For my so bucket I'm... list to search for Ulysses Butterfly so I can write my book. Is that right? No. Nah. <laughs> what is it? Is she, is she close? Vomit in a bucket? No. Nah. <laughs> Get yeah, plain sick. Right, so it's your book it list. The that's the correct story, Kel. Your book it, oh. then the list. K 
Kelly and oh, Megan. Oh, I'm back at Liz. They're getting on a plane. They're going somewhere tropical to look for the Unlisted Butter Butterfly. Yeah. Mm. Oh, very good, Liz. Oh, my God. How exciting. Wait, so, Megan's going <laughs> to. No. So Megan's going to get in the car, <laughs> drive for a few thousand kilometres. Just to, to look at a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're gonna go on a plane. I, I know. Think. I, know I don't know. That's what you said that time. Remember? You're like, oh yeah, if you want to get. See, that's it. Eighteen months. Oh, we get. Oh, you get. Oh, that's mm. awesome. Mm. Oh, I'm I'm ready. I am ready. <laughs> Queensland, here I come. Ulysses Butterfly, look out, mate. Fourteen kilos. Backpacking, here she comes. <laughs> I feel like an old turtle. You look like a fucking old turtle. What the fuck? I know. Hello, girl. What? Do you feel it? No. Only sometimes. Yeah, it happens, sometimes yeah. it works. Yeah. It takes a while to get used to. It, it took me ages. Oh, that's so. Get out of here. Who does it say it is? Alfie. 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 Can you answer it? Can you answer it for Approved. me? Approved. Alfie's helping me use my what's it called? Gimbal. <laughs> Mum dad got it for me for my 30th. The gimbal thing for my camera. bring any sheet. I was going to be a pillowcase but then I thought nah stuff but I've been around Europe that many times so it's never bothered me using other people's stuff. Yeah no I'm not even bringing a pillowcase. So worth it though when you get a hang of it. Hmm. I always put my I hold my phone on the button just in case I want to pan it. Alright. Just in case it doesn't go where I want it to. Cool, alright. Let the adventure begin. Now we look like proper backpackers, I said when I saw Megan's backpack protruding out from all sides behind her head. Well, you girls aren't going to find a rich bachelor staying in hostels, Jenny said, Megan's mum. Well, we aren't going to find a bloke, we're going to find a butterfly, Megan said, rather bluntly. Yeah,
So here I am on a Jetstar night flight to Cairns, staring out at the world below. The world lit up with pretty lights, and I pondered. All those little lights lighting the way for our little lives when the sun has gone. The crescent moon reminded me of the Cheshire Cat's cheeky grin. What does he know that we all don't? I then heard Megan opening up her packet of lollies, and then I heard the chewing. But it wasn't a normal chewing sound, it sounded as though she was struggling to breathe. I turned to see what the commotion was, and there Megan sat with her head tilted downwards with a long purple gummy snake type molly dangling out of her gob. It swung a little as she tried to pull it into her mouth like one would spaghetti. Hmm, two single 30 year olds on their way to Cairns where the nightlife is lively and partying and cocktails by the pool and meeting single men should be on our minds. But instead, one is gazing out the window thinking about the Cheshire cat and the other is sucking up giant lollies into her mouth. And if I am completely honest, I'm not even ashamed. Two beans travelled around Australia and you'll never guess where they ended up. In Cairns! <laughs> I laughed way too hard at that when I first heard it. Thank you, Alfie. Anyway, these two beans are off to Cairns. I'll just give you a quick tour of the room and done. <laughs> Megan bought some travel towels. Probably pathetic as fuck. Imagine if I got it out and it was like fucking face. Or shot. Oh no, that's pretty cool. That's yeah, alright. I got red, I got two different colours so we know who this is. Yeah, good, thank you. Do you want blue or red? Whatever you don't want. Um, I like blue, so. Oh, yeah. Is your favourite colour still yellow? So you're the choice of tomorrow. I thought we just got a shocking music bar. Yeah. This is the this some is, other treats in here. This is my ugly band dress. Which I ironed before. Oh popcorn, why can't I? No, I don't think we're gonna use that. <laughs> Do you like it? Oh, I've got a similar t-shirt dress. We can wear beat orcs one day together. Yeah. Everyone. Good night, Megan. After tucking up in our little nook for the night, I can safely say the two beans made it. They are in their cans. So, guess what, Megan? What? The two beans made it to their cans. <laughs> <laughs> Real can go. <laughs> what are we, baked beans or? I feel like a can.
It is actually. <laughs> yeah. It is. All right. Night. Night. If you would like to join us on this looking for a butterfly adventure, please join us next time for day one called Tits Out for the Turtles. If you want to know what that's all about, stay tuned for next time. See ya! Thanks for watching. Megan coming down from her embarrassing ordeal. Mm -hmm. Absolute 